So, I mean, Earl's like a dumbass lightning rod. <laughs> I'll only work with the barely competent. Takes the strips out of slacking off. <laughs> Man, it feels great to be free of that midget. <laughs> you know, the day is anything. It's like the world is my oyster and I'm ready to shuck it. <laughs> Nothing but hot new ladies from here on in. I want to be boldly going where no man's gone before. Lori <laughs> Slam, I'm here to pick up Lori. No, uh, Lori, the other kid. Like, why? You're dating Lori? That's not different, man. You're boldly going where every man's gone before. Excuse me, it is not nice to be so truthful. Did you buy me those? Yeah, just like you told me. No, I told you roses. Come on, doofus. This right here? No offense to this one lady. Those two can make the dumbest babies ever. sister down to the basement? This is our fortress of solitude. Well, I'm sorry, but she's my girlfriend and I love her. We don't. Well, I like her. No, you don't. <laughs> I think she is okay. And the line between love and okay is pretty fine. But the line between doing it and not doing it, that's not fine at all. <laughs> like the line between moron and idiot? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, it took me months to get Jackie in the sack. Well, Lori, she already lets me do it. And plus, I'm over here all the time anyway, so there's like, the convenience factor. <laughs> Kelso, my bookcase isn't going to move itself. <laughs> or maybe it will. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Davis Ever. Is Hyde his first name or his last name? It's good to see so happy. And strong. And over Kelsa. <coughs> it's 
Yeah. 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 you make bad choices. I've seen you screw up an awful lot. <laughs> and sure, I've enjoyed it. But now, but now you've, you've gone, gone too, too far. far. Do, Do you know, know what this is about? about? Duh, not an idiot. Uh-huh. <laughs> Michael has some nice qualities. <clears throat> Lori's got great legs and a fine rack. He's just a boy. She's a major scandoid. And you don't know where a boy like that will end up. And you don't know where a girl like that has been. Now, I know. I know you want a boyfriend who's weak and easily manipulated. Now, I know you're weak and easily manipulated. But you have got to learn to think about the future. Well, you got to learn to think. <laughs> and and make and smart make choices. Because what's, what's convenient, convenient isn't always what's, what's best. best. If it were, I'd just throw on a mumbo and eat out of a can. <laughs> if it were, this frozen pizza wouldn't taste like monkey butt. <laughs> okay. Are you done with this little lecture? Okay. You don't want a pizza? Yeah. Yes. And I, I think, think I made my point. point. Oh, God, I gotta get my own place. Who says it tastes like monkey butt? Oh, geez, Red. I'm sorry I'm late for a little meeting. My uh, dog, uh, that car got hit by a uh, car. Excellent. That's the word. Eric, take your break anywhere but here. Girl, you're fired. What? Well, what did I do? <laughs> what did you do? I'll tell you what you did. You move it! You make it move it, but move it! Tearing my head off? 
No. And I'm thinking your age, you should know that by now. Oh, no, Mom, um, no, uh-uh. Man, we had such a good thing going at work, and he just wrecked that. And, by the way, without Earl, I'm back to dumbass. <laughs> He's just mean. Oh, you shut your porky mouth, mister. Well, then it just stinks because, you know what? This is the first time we were ever, like, you know, cool with each other. Man, yeah, why does he do such a hard ass all the time? Oh, come on, Aaron. That's how he expresses himself. That's how he's always expressed himself. Your father yells at you because he cares. That's right. Well, that's true. Stand up straight. You're a dumbass. You call this a report card? Hands him up the covers. I guess he really, really cares. Okay. If not, you're, you're moving out soon. <laughs> versus bandit debate, have you and I so been on the same page? <laughs> yeah, I think we're all on board. God, this is so great! You guys all hate Lori and love me. <laughs> yeah, we all hate Lori. <laughs> <coughs> oh, great. That's what had a joke and I made it. Hey, guys. Your computer. How's it going? And you hate these books. Hate them. No, no. Ah, see that? They're trying to escape. They hate me too. Books don't hate. Oh, Lori, my brain is full. It has reached capacity. 
It's Shea Stadium and the Beatles played. It's cramped and girls are screaming and I think George is fighting with Ringo. You have a very active head. I simply cannot ingest any more information. So take a break. I don't have time. Close your eyes. Clear your head. No. It is clearing my head just means that all the knowledge I'm painstakingly stuck in there will leak out. In order to make room for stuff, I lose stuff. It's a very vicious circle. I'm going to make some coffee. I hate finals. Nobody likes finals. Thank God I'm graduating, and this is the last time I have to cram like this, because my pursuit of higher education has led me to a very interesting discovery about myself. Do I hear it? Sure. I despise academics. Yep. Learning, knowledge, it's all worthless. I have no idea what you see in any of it. Learning is fun. Plus, for me, there's that whole I'm a minor for mandatory thing. That's what kills me. This is self-inflicted. I'm a masochist. I might as well be carrying a switch and periodically lacerating myself with it. That diploma hanging on the wall is going to make this all worthwhile, trust me. I guess. Unless I turn into John Nash and start drooling on people. Hey, you're graduating. Uh, I know. No, you're graduating. There's going to be a ceremony. Oh, I don't know. It's community college. Well, community colleges have ceremonies. My community college doesn't even have a lawn. They won't necessarily have a ceremony. They must. Did you ask? I think someone said something about some cheesy ceremony for my business class. When is it? I don't know. Next Thursday or something. That's great. You have to do it. I don't know. You have to do it. Really? Yes. You've never been a part of an actual graduation ceremony. I know. That's because my stupid conservative high school wouldn't let me be in the ceremony and nurse you at the same time. That would be gross. Do you really think I should do it? Yes. You worked hard for this. You earned it. I guess. Come on. You know that deep down you really want to do this. Well, I'll admit, I've always wanted to wear one of those gowns. <coughs> For the tassel, because you know I think you're French. And they call out your name, and, and people clap, and then you get your diploma, and then you do that thing where you move the tassel from one side to the other. Very symbolic, very dramatic. That's it. You're just like, all right, you know, that's something we didn't really like. I don't know, you. Yeah. That's cool with me. To be ingested? Oh, that'd be fun. Okay. And grandma and grandpa? Oh, no. No, no, no. Come on. Congratulations. They should do that. Forget it. But they won't want to be there. Of course they will. Bro, I was supposed to graduate from high school, go to Vassar, marry a Yale man, and get myself a proper nickname like Babe or Bunny or Shih Tzu. Yes. Instead, I got pregnant. I didn't finish high school, I didn't marry your father, and I ended up in a career that apparently Jessica Hahn would think was beneath her. That's not I humiliated them. The two proudest people in the world, and I humiliated them. I had spoiled their plans. I took their fine upbringing in a world of comfort and opportunity, and I threw it in their faces. I broke their hearts, and they'll never forgive me. I guess I can't expect them to. Maybe you're wrong about how they feel about all this. It was a long time ago. Worry, I don't want them to go. It'll just hurt them and me. Okay? Okay. Get back to your study. Fine. Oh, great. What? I think I've already forgotten everything I read in the last two hours. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. In fact, I may have forgotten everything that I've ever known. Child, what do you mean? Study. Just explain the concept one more time. And be mocked again? No, thank you. Come on. Yeah, maybe we're missing something. Okay. Go to a special shooting range. A skate shooting range. Right. There's two of you, and uh, the guy with your gun yells, pool. And then the other guy releases a clay pigeon from a machine into the air, and so you try to shoot it. No, I don't think we're missing anything. Yeah, I knew it. You shoot pigeons? Clay pigeons. When you hit them, does blood come out? They're clay. And why do you like to do this? I don't know. My dad shot some when he was my age, and so he wants to pass the tradition down. What if you accidentally hit a real pigeon? Yeah, does that count? That's never happened. What if a clay pigeon hits a real pigeon? Does that count? Yeah, does that count? I've only done this once. Hey, if you get really good, do you move on to other animals, like clay chickens and clay sheep? You know what? We didn't go skid shooting. I just made it all up. Hey, I gotta go in here. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Just general stuff. You guys go and be in love. We'll see you back at the house. Why? What if you shoot the person that throws the pigeon up in the air? Would that count? Okay. Uh, no, no, I mean, it's, it's a signal or honk or something. My fault. Well, um, I guess it's inevitable it's running into each other for a tiny community. Yes, so. How's the diner? It's still there. Yes, I knew that. I'm able to empirically with my eyes. Uh... Hey, look, do you think we could... I'm going to get back. Okay. Right. Right. I'll get it. Hey, <coughs> Grandma. Thanks for seeing me on such short notice. I feel that you do on no notice. So tell me, what's this about? He was so mysterious on the phone. 
we're going to talk to you about something in person. Well, come in, come in. Wow, it's an English tea service. One of the advantages about having an English maid. That the fact that she speaks English. You know, to do this. But it's tea time, and I wanted to... Oh, no. Beatrice, I told you to doily line the plates. You don't have to doily line the plates. Hello. We're in the dining room. Oh, oh Rory, you're already here. You're out of breath. I ran over from the office. We didn't have to run. Your grandmother said you had something to discuss with us. It certainly justifies a run. All right, everybody. Sit. Sit. Pour the tea, Beatrice. Um, actually, Beatrice, could you hold off on pouring the tea for just a minute? Thank you very much. Grandma, Grandpa, I would like to propose an idea to you. Now, you can go for it or not. It's entirely up to you. But I would like for you to promise me that you will not get upset. We won't get upset. And that you will try to keep an open mind. All right. And that you will let me finish my presentation completely before you respond. She's been hanging around you far too much. Rory, we accept your terms. Please proceed. Thank you. First, let me start by saying that Mom isn't know that I'm here. She'd probably be pretty mad if she knew that I was, but I feel that this is important. As you know, Mom's been going to business school at the community college out here for three years now. I believe she's mentioned it. Well, she's doing very well, and she's finishing up. Actually, she's graduating Thursday, and there's going to be a ceremony. And I think it would mean a lot to her if you guys were there. It may not seem like it would, but it's true. Well, if it would mean so much to her, then why didn't she invite us herself? Because she didn't think you'd want to go. And I get that, but I think it's a mistake. I had a school thing once, and I wasn't sure if Mom would want to go, so I didn't invite her. It was my kindergarten salute to vegetables pageant, and I was broccoli, and I did a tap dance with a guy that was playing beat. And the entire number, I was just thinking, Mom's not here, and it was my fault that she wasn't there. And, well, it was kind of a life lesson for me. Now, if the thought of going to Mom's graduation upsets you or makes you unhappy or uncomfortable in any way, then please, don't go. Because this is an important night for Mom, and if you go, you should go under the right circumstances. Those are the tickets. It's Thursday, 7 p.m. It's indoors, so weather's not an issue. You can use them or not. No hard feelings. Do what you feel is best. And if you don't mind, I would really appreciate it if you would keep this conversation between the three of us. That's all I have to say. Thanks very much for your patience. Now, I believe I have time for a scone before my bus leaves. May I trust the tea, please? Emily, these look delicious. So, Richard, how's your day today? I'm feeling so good, sister, because it's over. <sighs> no more finals, no more studying, no more school. The pressure's off. Do you know how much pressure I felt? Do you? All last week I felt like a giant man and his brother were sitting on my chest. A giant man? And his giant brother. Did they have names? Clem and Clem. <laughs> Same names, which did not reflect well in the imagination of their mothers. Brothers. Mothers. There were two Clems. Yeah, because they were brothers. Yes, so they had mothers. How are you drawing me into your sunken world? It's not about place to be my friend. <laughs> Tags empty. Neat, what is this? What? This uh, life plan book thing. A little gift for the grads from the happy people at Hartford Community College. Hey, how many margaritas is too many margaritas? Um, if you can't remember where the living room is. Ha, ah, I'm still good. Okay, here's an interesting question for you. Have you given any thought to how children will work into your future plans? Oh, no. Uh, they're not going to stand in my way, that's for sure. I mean, I'd like to have some, of course, but I'm just going to knock them out and uh, have Manny catch them and care for them, make sure Mick Jagger doesn't come anywhere near them, and then just return to me when they're 21. Well, what about me? You are my favorite eldest child. You get to stand by my side. Oh, I feel so privileged. Mm -hmm. I get it. Hey, now, if that's Mick Jagger, hang up. You blow that whistle like you. Hello. Hi. Hello? Hi. Is this a bad time? Um, no. Just hold on a sec. Um, the music. Um, I'll be right back. Hi. You said that already. I did. You're right, sorry. So, what's up? Nothing. What about you? Same. So, what have you been doing? Nothing much. Just hanging out. In the park, mostly. Central Park? Washington Square Park. Oh. It's cooler. Yeah. 
So we gave him the wrong top box. Right. Right. I hope he's got it together now. Sounds like you got a party going on there. No, it's just me and my mom. Right. Okay, well, I'm going to go. This is long distance. Yeah. It is long distance. So, see ya. Yeah. See ya. At the general state of things in the world, or something in particular? What are you wearing on graduation? Cap and gown. Duh, I mean underneath. Whatever you want. The gown will cover it. It's more complicated than that. But I'm not overdressed so that I'm sweating with the in the auditorium, but if I don't have enough on and it's cold, then I'll freeze. It is complicated, especially if you overthink it. And now I need a helpful comment. Take light layers. Wear your turquoise and tan dress that you just got that's cool and it'll look good without your gown on. And wear your turquoise vintage sweater over it because it'll look great with a dress and it'll keep you warm if it's cold in the auditorium. You are a fashion genius. Well, you've taught me everything I know. My brains aren't working today. You're excited. It's a big day. What time are you getting there? I have a bunch of newspaper stuff after school, but no later than six. And then we'll go out to eat after? Any place you want, and it's on me. You don't have to do that. You're a graduate. You get to be pampered. Okay, then I'd like to go to Chateau Jean-Georges, La Jean-Georges, in Paris. I'll look it up in Zagat and book the comfort. I gotta go. Okay, I gotta get ready. Wait, wait. I want to see my little graduate one more time before the big event. What do you think? Do I look like I'm ready to make my way in the world? Yes, and if all else fails, you can marry rich. I love that we always have that option. Hey, what are you going to do with your hair? I got the curling iron warming up. Mom, the cap. You put it on, it's going to smoosh the curls down. Curls down. You are a genius. See you tonight. Hey, try to see this next to a celebrity on the Concord, like Sting or Screech or someone. I'll try. So I told her, look, Missy, you called your advisor Missy? It was attitudinal. I said, I'm not taking AP calculus from Henneman. I'm going with Branch. Branch is a graduate of MIT, and Henneman went to Berkeley. Berkeley, I mean, he may have majored in math, wordy minor, Dean Sprouts, forget it. And I'm telling my advisor all this, Mrs. Schlosser, and I look down in her trash can, and there's this half-eaten banana in there, nothing else. And I pictured her sitting in the shoebox of an office, eating a banana all by herself, and I almost felt sorry for her. But then she questioned my judgment about Berkeley, so I eviscerated her. I mean, she was welling up at the end, but she had the decency to hold it in, so it's gone. I have enough faculty recommendations to run for city council, so I don't need her anyway. I want the system. Are they closed? They're closed. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, one second. And open, open, open. ceremonies and our poetry was read. The string crafted play to the ballerina performed. And you drank some Boone's Farm out of a Boda bag and knocked a beach ball around? I don't understand half of what you say. That's why we were. Hello? Hey, Laura. How you doing? Christopher. I'm good. I'm excited. You should be. It's a big day. Did you get my present? What present? Basket. You should have got it by now. Hey, did a basket come for me? It came. It was heavy. I had to twinge. So I dropped it for half reason. <coughs> How would you stay in time? My crack staff has just informed me of its arrival. I'm going to find it. Huh? Wow. What did you get on myself? That's all for me? All for you. Chris? Wow. Huh. A $25 savings bond. That's a long-term investment. Don't touch it for 30 years, you're looking at $45. Ooh, a youth hostel card. For the young girl who doesn't mind sharing a bathroom with 50 strangers. What color is your parachute? Practical manual for job hunters. Helping you answer the two questions, what do you want to do and where do you want to do it? The DVD of the graduate, gotta have that. Ooh, the portable Nietzsche. Like cheery reading. An application to join the armed forces. Well, if your dreams don't pan out, Nietzsche's no help. It's a viable option. And something in a nice little velvet box. Necklace. The pearl almost looks real. Well, it better look very real, because it is. Is that funny? This is not a funny gift. 
Christopher, this is extremely not funny. This, this is totally humorless. It's, it's beautiful. I think you're awesome, Laura. With everything you do and raising Rory the way you did, you're a superwoman. Wow. Have a great day. I wish you could be there. Take lots of pictures for me. Oh, the camera. I forgot the camera. Look in the basket. Oh, oh. I thought of everything. Have a great night. Thanks. You too. Bye.